All right, guys, this is what we're tying today. So this is the first fly I've tried and tied with the Petagene clip system. It's a little CDC caddis, and that's these little clips. I just got these. Thank you so much, Justin, for them. Um, I can't thank you enough. I, I really do like these. These are working really well. This is a, this is a fly actually designed by Petagene. And it's one that, um, it's the first, like I said, the first one I've tried with this clip system, more to come. So we're gonna start by placing the hook securely in our vise. By the way, the hooks I'm using today are Risen's Barbless Dry Fly 100s in size 16. And the thread I'm using is Vivis Tenot in like an olive color, it's kind of a dark olive. So I'm gonna start the thread with a little space at the hook eye here. I'm going to come back just a little bit, cut off that thread, and then we'll bring this all the way back to a little past that hook bend and come back up one wrap. Now we laid a thread wrap here. So then I take CDC feather and we're just going to capture it right at the back. All right, we're going to pull this all the way through like this. And then we'll just finish capturing the rest. Pull all those fibers back, pull any off that are kind of caught up in there. And then we'll bring our thread to where we started. And what this is going to do is this is going to be the body. So this will let us know right where to stop. There we go. So that's the body. This is going to be more the head of the fly or the wings. Next, we want to grab some hackle pliers. Now, I think. Petagene makes uh, some really good ones for this. Allows you to spin it easier, but these will work. And I especially like the ones with the little rubber tip there. That's gonna keep that from slipping off. All right, so we're gonna start spinning this. Now that's where his is a little bit easier to use, all right? Cause he, you can, with his, you can spin it a little easier. It doesn't require two hands to spin this. So we're just, making one or two complete turns with every wrap and we're just basically wrapping the CDC up the hook shank and what we're doing is just basically making almost like a, a corded CDC body. And CDC floats so nice in the water so this is just not going to have any issues with sinking. All right so now we reach the thread, make two wraps over it, Wrap two wraps in front and we can come in and cut this off close. Now we've got a funky looking body here, but that's okay. So we're just going to pull everything up like so. And we are going to, at an angle, cut that like so. So what we're doing is we're making a nice tapered CDC body. We can of course come in and trim up more, but It's a pretty neat technique that he came up with, and I like this. So, you know, once I got the these clips, I was so excited. Thank you, Justin. I just was looking up so many different flies that I could try these clips out on. This is the first one I tried, and I thought it came out looking really nice. And that giveaway ended up, uh, I gave away the one that I had tied, so. All right, so. Another nice thing about this style body is you can make this perfectly round or you can have a nice flat wide body. So as you can see, it's a little flatter and then wider. Okay, so you can definitely do that if you wanted or you could of course trim this up more to however you want to do it. So you just basically you're trimming that body to the shape that you're you're wanting. Just like so. Kind of like that flatter, wider profile. So let's go ahead and make the wing. And this is kind of new to me, these Petagen clips. And by the way, for good CDC, this Polish CDC is pretty good for the price. Um, it's not crazy expensive. I mean, that Petagen uh, CDC is awesome, but it's also really pricey. So I'm going to pull out two. I'm going to take the tips, clean that up. And the same thing, pinch the tip, 
and stroke these fibers down to have them perpendicular. We'll lay that directly on top of that feather. Now that's ready. Now I've got this dubbing here. I want to add a little bit of sparkle and some darker colors to look like little legs. I'm not going to get a lot. We're just getting a small amount here. And by the way, this is UV2 Diamond Bright. It's like it's like ice dub. And I got the olive brown, which is right there at the top. That's the color that I'm using. And we're just going to separate this out a little bit. I don't want a lot of this, but I will need a little bit more actually. There we go. Just like that. Lay that there. We're going to grab these two feathers, grab the tips, move this out of the way. So you can see I'm grabbing the tip there, grabbing the, the base of the stem, push this right into there on top of that dubbing. That's going to incorporate the dubbing into there. Now I like to separate this just slightly before I grasp it so it's nice and even. And they say to cut the tips. You could do that if you want, so you can cut right here. I find that it's not always necessary. I think in certain instances it might be really good, but all right, so we're gonna grasp it like so. All right, we'll let go with that, and then we'll cut this tip off, and now we've got both flash and these feathers, so. There we go. This is too long, this fiber, but we're gonna cut it anyway. But I still want to take the other clip. I'm gonna grasp it like so. Let go of this. I'm gonna come up just slightly and add a slight angle. Make those fibers a little more even. We'll cut that a little shorter and there we go so that's what I'm gonna do right here that didn't change a whole lot but we did change the angle of this because back here there's longer fibers this was really short so let's go ahead and get to tying we're gonna have to split our thread so this is a technique basically you uncord it so what I'm doing is I'm spinning the bobbin here and I am trying to get this nice and flat see if I can get this to focus on my finger here. All right, so I have now made the thread slightly flat. Once you flatten that thread, you want to come in with a needle or your bodkin, but something sharp, and you can see how that's flattened out quite a bit. We're just going to run that up and down this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take the needle, stick it right in the center there, and separate that thread. All right, there we go. I'm going to take our dubbing and CDC feather here, stick it between, there we go. Let's go ahead and spin that bobbin to cord that back up. And what's going to happen is you just made yourself a hackle. All right, so that spun a little bit. We need quite a bit more. There we go. I'm going to do just slightly a little bit more here just to make sure that that's not going to come out. Then we can just bring our bobbin up closer like so right up to the tip and now we've got ourselves a hackle we can wind on. We just start wrapping this. And once we start getting to the longer fibers, we're going to take this and pull it up and rearward with every single wrap up and rearward, up and rearward. Make sure all those fibers are out of the eye, up and rearward, up and rearward. When we get up close to the eye, we'll just really ensure that we sweep everything back. We don't have any trap fibers over top of that hook eye. We're going to have a couple. I mean, it's impossible to get it perfect. But if we do have a couple, 
You can use our thumbnail to try to push those fibers rearward. Make one or two wraps over them just to make sure they're swept back. There we go. Then we're just going to whip finish. Return whip finish should be good enough. Cut that off close. And the tying portion is done. So we're going to sweep this up and back like so. And then we want a fairly long wing, but not too crazy long, like so. We'll cut that off. We also, I'm going to turn this upside down and we are going to give it a little bit of a haircut underneath. And what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that it floats upright. and more even. There we go. So all that CDC is going to be up high and that'll keep it from wanting to turn over. There's going to be a couple pieces down below, but those are just going to look like legs. And then of course this flash is going to look like legs as well. And there we go. Now you could also double up the CDC on this part on the wing if you wanted if you really wanted something that's going to float super high i mean granted it is a cdc body so it shouldn't sink very quickly especially if you use some floatant but cdc has some oils in it already naturally which help kind of act as a floatant at least most of it does now if you get some that is heavily washed they could have washed those oils out so if you notice that it's sinking just add a little floatant it should be good there we go. That is the finished fly. But to cement the head though, I really like this Solarez Ultra Thin. It's a UV curing resin. And it, it really is. By, by its name, it's called Ultra Thin, but it really is. So it's got this little handy paintbrush. You just a little dot on either side and, and the underside. And that's going to do a couple things. If any of that gets into the fibers, it's going to make those fibers a little more stiff. And so it's going to help kind of keep that afloat a little better. So then of course, you know, you cure it with the UV light and it's hard. Um, it's also going to, of course, secure that head, but it also make it a little bit kind of shiny, a little, a little bit kind of like a reflective look, almost like a bug, you know, the head of a bug. I, I like that. So there we go. That is that Petagene cdc caddis my take on it i'm um, you know probably not perfect how he did it but i was really excited to try using these little petagene clips that i've got so this is the first uh one that i've tried of his i'm going to start working on trying some other cdc flies and of course some streamers he, he ties a bunch of streamers with these clips and so I'll try all those as well. Check out my sponsor, Risen Fly. They're the ones that made these scissors that I use today. And also, of course, the hooks. Everything they make is really high quality, guys. I really love everything from them. They just, everything is really good, but also really good price. The thing is, they're not super expensive. Uh, they're moderately priced. In fact, some could say low priced for an incredible product. Um, so everything they sell is very high quality, like I said. Go to www.risenfly.com to check out everything that they've got. And the best thing is that they're actually offering you guys all a discount on top of their already good prices. So if you type in McFly at checkout, you will get 15% off your first order with them. In my opinion, there's just not a place that you can get such high quality stuff at a really good price like they've got, um, especially even after that discount just makes it incredible. So definitely check those out. I think you guys are going to really enjoy them. Well, if you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.